friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining, then hello, hi. My name is Foy, and welcome to The Foy Hive. I'm gonna be your YouTuber for the day, and today we are going to learn how to tie infinity wrap tops. I know summer is on its way out, but there's still some opportunities to wear these tops because they are super versatile, and I think there's something great for you to keep in your wardrobe. Whenever the sun is out, you can just show us a little shoulder, a little chest action, and I think it's really cool that you can tie these tops in so many different ways. So I'm going to just show you a few ways to get you started in case you're not sure, in case you're just a bit nervous, in case you can't think of any ways to tie them. Here are just a few of my ways that I wear my infinity top. Mine is the Infinite Summer, I think it's called the Infinite Summer Top from Impreca. I have them in pretty much all the colors, but I think I'm just going to be alternating between two for demonstration purposes. And you can get 10% off your order on Impreca and ShopRite Robson, by the way, using the code FOYANOG. So please be sure to use that code when you shop. And also just take some notes, save this video for future reference, download it, you know, keep it on deck. And yeah, before we go anywhere, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Please remember to subscribe to the content. We need the girls to subscribe to the content. And drop us a like, give a comment down below if you have one of these tops already. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so hi guys, we are going to be serving some baddie action using these tops from Impreca. So this one, we're going to start out using the back of the shirt. Like a lot of people think you have to kind of use it in one direction. No, we're going to use it in all over. And this is one of the simplest styles. Just cover your chest with the back of the shirt, tie a knot at the back swing it across either shoulder and then tie it crisscross across your waist i promise you that crisscross around the waist just snatches you if you have no waist because i don't really have a small waist this thing will just cinch you in and it'll just look super delicious and you'll feel super confident so now this top is a similar variation we're going to start with the back of the top in the front and this is kind of what you do to get like a halt uh one um one shoulder type of look it may seem a bit messy, but you can kind of fiddle with how exactly you want to tie it and tuck it. But this is just the basic principle on how to get this like one shoulder type action. There are lots of different variations of like the same top and you can just play around. You can open up the that portion across your chest or across your shoulder. Give yourself a cap sleeve, something like that. Now we're going into kind of like the generic type, which is just that crisscross. And then we're going to tie it once again, crisscrossing at the waist to cinch. And you can do this top kind of in the reverse from the top down, which is basically taking the, the back of the top and starting at your neck and then crisscrossing down. But I kind of like to work upwards and I like that the crisscross kind of looks really flattering on my chest. So you can do it that way. This way is pretty much the variation that you've kind of always seen me wear. And I prefer this to the first one because it gives you a little bit more security. So as you can see, I'm adjusting the top now. You have to adjust it while you tie it because if you tie it and it's too tight, it's really hard to fix it after the fact because everything is in place. So make sure the girls are covered. Um, you got that crisscross action. And like personally, this one, just make sure I am covered. There's no room to slip out because I am secure. Now we're going into another variation. This one just gives you a little bit of a cute cap sleeve, which I really love in case maybe there's a cloud out or something, or you just like want to cover a little bit more skin. This is really great and allows you to do that as well as still getting the cinch in the waist, that crisscross and the cinch in the waist is very important guys. Do not forget. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks so chic, so stunning, like, and a little bit more formal because your shoulders are covered. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so this one is for the baddies. If you are really trying to take a chance, um, this way you take the back of the top and tie it just beneath your bust and then swing the edges over and tuck them in. You can keep them open-ended if you want. If you just want that, that kind of drama sweeping down to the floor, if you've got like a nice white, white leg pant or something that you want to pair it with. But if you just want to make sure it's tucked and secure that nothing is going anywhere, you can once again just wrap it around and tie it tight just to make sure. This one obviously took me out of my comfort zone a little bit, but I think it looked really cool in the end and really fun. Um, you can definitely play around with it, tie the knot at the back. And the crisscross also is just very cool. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. And then this one is the last look of the video. So we're gonna take the back and we're gonna tie a knot at the back. Don't forget that knot at the back, it's very important. Um, 
And we're gonna make a, a quick crop top. If all your crop tops are dirty and all you have is an infinity wrap top, then we're just gonna, we're gonna make it work, child. So we just cap some sleeves and do a crisscross, but you can also just tuck that in in case you don't want that. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.